guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today we're gonna be showing you guys how we unboxed, assembled, set up, and installed our new Treeline Outdoors four season rooftop tent onto the back of our Toyota Tacoma. One thing you're gonna wanna do before we get this unboxed and start assembling is to get yourself uh, a workspace set up. If you have a table or some stands like I do, that's gonna help us. Otherwise, you can do this just putting it carefully on the ground as well. All right, so once you've gotten it out of the box, don't forget to get all of the hardware and accessories that we're gonna need. There's some here and there's some inside the tent that we're gonna see later on. All right, so this is all of the hardware that was included. We've just laid it out here so it's more organized and we can see everything. Starting on the top left, it comes with a patch repair kit. So it's got some extra fabrics and whatnot. There's some carabiners, which are awesome if we ever wanted to like hang up some lights or like LED string lights around the tent. We've got a bungee cord that's gonna be used later on. We'll show where that goes. We've got the stainless steel sliders as well as the stainless steel brackets. And then right below, the quick release knobs, some washers, the hardware, these are the actual bolts that we're gonna use to mount the tent onto the bed rack. Two wrenches that are 13 and 10 millimeters. The canopy cords, as well as some tent pegs. All right, so we're gonna then undo the straps all around the outside. We can also undo the straps on the ladder and then open up the tent. All right, so now that we've got our tent all opened up, let's go to the back door and take out the stuff that's inside. All right, so inside the tent is where we'll find the travel cover, this extension pole that we're gonna need for the front door. We've also got some spring poles here that we're gonna use for the windows around the tent. There's also a big bag. And then lastly, a unisex urinal. We'll use that extension pole later on when we open up the tent to support underneath the canopy. It just clips in on both ends. All right, so now that we've got kind of all set up here and all the contents out, we're gonna move on to the rain fly. So buckles on the front and grommets on the back. With the fly in position on the top, we're gonna to take these poles. On the inside of the fly is like a channel or a pocket that that pole's gonna go through. So we're just gonna feed one end through it here. And when it's all the way through, goes into this pocket here and then over on the other side another pocket in the same place so just put that in like that all right with the poles now installed and everything's lined up we're going to go ahead and connect these buckles to these straps and you wanna make sure the buckle's the right way. So you wanna have it this way where you can see both holes. Go in one side, and then down the bottom, and then you can connect it, just like that. All right, so coming up to the front here of the tent, we've got two more buckles here, one on each side. And then also up front, we're gonna put these canopy straps on, and they just go on the bottom here in this little loop. Just put the uh, strap through, and then just tie a basic knot. And then we can just tuck the canopy strap in this uh, pocket here, which just hides nicely underneath.
Okay, now we can go ahead and get all of the accessories installed, starting with the cargo net and these shoe bags that are awesome. And these are like a compression strap, so you want to like put it through these two loops and then you can kind of like push a little bit on the top and then pull them nice and tight like that. An important note is that that blue bungee cord we previously unpacked can be hooked onto the metal D-rings on the bottom base of the tent and then it loops itself over top of the canopy on the front end of the tent to help pull everything in nice and snug when you're closing it all up. It's time to put our cover on now. Now on the inside of the cover is the zipper that we need to mount to the tent first. Let's start unzipping the whole thing. Perfect. So we're gonna come down here to the bottom of the tent and we're gonna start feeding it through this channel. You wanna start with the non-zipper side, of course. So put that through. We're gonna pull all of it through like this. And we wanna make sure we leave at least about an inch of space right here. Once you get to the first corner, we're gonna feed it through now, go in this other direction. When we get to the end here, you'll notice like this big loop at the corner. The corners, just have to kind of massage them into position, just carefully kind of pushing them through. So the corner should be nice and snug like that. This end is just gonna slide in through that channel again, the same way we did this. Put this up in there like that. All right, so then we can go ahead and get this zipped up. Around the corners, you can flip this uh, kind of piece up here, and then you just wanna make sure it goes nice and smoothly around the corner. You can flip it back down. Lastly, we're just gonna take these big straps, put them across like that. Now we're ready to get it mounted onto your vehicle, in my case, my Tacoma. Put it here. Push towards me. Got it. Okay, we got the tent up on the bed racks. But what we found was really good was someone from the front lay it on the bed and then we can lift it and then use the bed rack as leverage and then push it up the rest of the way. That worked really good. All we have left to do now is get the mounting hardware and secure it into position, tighten these bolts down. Now Treeline includes some nice quick connect knobs as well as steel plates that you would use depending on the type of bed rack system you're using or you could also use a roof rack. We're gonna just pop that plastic thing out again, insert our hardware, All right, so because it's a little bit tricky getting these on and positioned when you're lifting the tent on, you can just hop up here and slide this into position. All right, now that we've got the hardware all lined up, this is where we'd use these quick connect knobs. You could put these on like that if you want. But for me, I'm gonna use these locking nuts and a washer. Alright guys, so that wraps up the assembly and installation of our new tent. I'm really excited to go out across the country. I think the first trip we have on our list is going to be just cross Canada. Now that we have our tent, we can do that. We can camp along the way in every place that we stop at. So I couldn't be more excited to something that we were able to do in our garage, at our house 
pretty easily. It took us a couple hours. Definitely need two people though. It's a lot of lifting and a lot of coordinating with the fly, with the cover. Please be sure to subscribe and follow along with our journey coming up. We're really excited to share that with you guys, hopefully inspire you guys, because when we first saw the tree line tents, we were so inspired by those and seeing some of the stories and photos and the people post, we, we really wanted to have that and do that ourselves. And yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll see you in the next video. See ya.